Hello everyone and welcome to whatever episode number this is. I don't know. Yeah, I'm starting right where I left off last episode. Man, I certainly am getting far ahead of uh, the episodes right here. You know, just uploading them daily. Yeah, the reason why I upload them daily rather than all at once is because... Well, I would rather just have... Uh, have the episodes be like... Be kind of spread out. You know, just have one of them be uploaded a day, and then... Have the next episode be uploaded the next day. I'm not quite sure how many people do that, actually. You know, just record quite a number of episodes at one time. I was afraid of that. But at least I say stated. Alright, come on. I gotta get over that way before the propellers run out. I really like the function that the propellers have. You know, like being able to fly <laughs> with those propeller flowers. That's one of my favorite elements of Majora's Mask that is brand new. You know, to that game that wasn't in Ocarina of Time. Just being able to, uh, to fly like that. All right, so here I am in the room with the Garrow Master. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. I know it did, but it shouldn't have. How many hits does it take? Well, with the Great Fairy Sword, obviously it takes more than three. Oh, it takes four. Okay, so... Of course. Of course! I'm not surprised! I am surprised. I thought it was going to be rupees. Yeah, I know that some people probably, uh... Probably just look this over. You know, this is this is something that you can do with Bonchu, but unfortunately we don't have Bonchu. Which is not a problem because... Because I can actually, uh... I can actually just put the bomb right here. And hopefully it works. You know, with one more heart piece, I'll have 18. I think that may be a good ending goal. Alright, so now I've got nine stray fairies in the Stone Tower Temple. You know, I think that out of all the temples in Majora's Mask, I think that the Stone Tower Temple would have to be my favorite because it just combines all of the different elements uh, from the previous dungeons all together. You know, like the Woodfall Temple relied on you to use Deku Link. The Snowhead Temple relied on you to use the Goron Mask. And the Great Bay Temple relied on the Zora Mask. While this temple right here relies on all of those. And I think that that is quite clever. To just put everything together into the last temple of the game. Alright, so, got, I got ten. Ten stray fairies, and I, I did get, oh, I didn't get this one. Okay, well, soon to be eleven. Ow! 
Ooh. Yeah, most enemies will give you a purple rupee when you shoot at them, but unfortunately the dragonflies are not one of them. I'm sad by that. I'm so sad. It's alright. Besides, I'm not really all that worried about rupees anyway. I mean, if I was playing the normal game, I would worry about the rupees, because I would want to have them for... Is it possible to get up to... Nah, nah, probably not. Probably not. Alright, so now we are going to be flipping the temple again. Alright, and here we are in, uh... In this room right here. Twelve stray fairies. So... Now that chest that wasn't there before will be there now. Yep, see, there it is. I, and I also am aware that I still have to get that key down there by beating up that bug. Or is it stepping on the switch? I think it's actually stepping on the switch that you get that key from. Yeah, when I first played the game and saw the stray fairy, I was like, uh, why did the stray fairies change their appearance? Or why did those little fairies change their appearance? And why did they change their appearance while cattle and tail don't? And it turned out it was actually because it was a piece of the stray, or the, a piece of the great fairy. It was not a redesigned normal fairy like you would put in a bottle. Although what's funny is that I, re I also remember that somebody did a comic where Link was in Clock Town and he saw a stray fairy and he put it in a bottle because he thought that he could use that to uh, help him in battle. Of course, you can't actually do that. You can't actually put stray fairies into bottles. You just go up to them and they just fly around you and they just get added to your inventory. You don't need a bottle to uh, contain them. Well, I cannot believe that we are going to be coming out to this next room. If I had the Fierce Deity Mask, I could easily skip through this. I could easily skip through this. You know, just... Just quickly climb up. But no. The game has... The game had to not give it to me. This soon. It had to not. That would be, like, really helpful. Why do you do this to me, game? Why do you do this to me? Okay, this is gonna take a while, and I don't see any point in uh, me just playing this at normal speed. So I'm just gonna speed through this. All right, here I am at the way end, and I had just realized that even if we did have the Fierce Deity Mask, we wouldn't be able to get through this room quickly anyway, because we would still need to push that block. We could actually just get onto this platform. I don't know why I thought you would need the Fierce Deity Mask to get through there so quickly. You know, I don't get why the usual mini-boss music doesn't play here. You know, the music just plays as if he's just a normal, regular enemy. Where is he? Oh, there he is! He was right in front of me. By the way, I never thought of this before, but he kind of, sort of looks like I Am Mean from the I Am Mean uh, series. Yeah, uh... I, I don't know how many people know about I Am Mean, but... It, it was a little, uh, game that was made, you know, with, uh, with these animated cutscenes, quite similar to, uh, Faces of Evil and Wanda Gamelon. Yeah, it had been used in quite a lot of, uh, YouTube poops. And I also remember making a, uh, buildable action figure of I Am Mean using, uh, 
using the buildable action figure parts that were from Bionicle and Hero Factory. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. And I still have it, actually, after all these years. Yeah, I remember that, uh, a YouTube user called Ross W, uh, what was the number? If I remember to, during editing, I'll put his name up on the screen. He did a series called I Am Mean Gets a New Job. And I think they already did that, had gone through 50 videos. Maybe he's actually made a few more of them by now. It's been a while since I saw the I Am Mean Gets a New Job uh, series. So I got, get that one out of the way. Got one more. Come on. What? He just went right back upside, up, right side up, and he. I also noticed that there's actually another one. No. All right. There we go. Beaten. Yeah, basically the uh, I am mean gets a new job series is basically just a series of uh, videos that uh, that show I am mean looking for another job after his labyrinth was uh, closed down. Yeah, he goes searching for jobs, although he also goes on all sorts of crazy adventures. Yeah, the yeah Ross W whatever his name is. Again, I will uh, put his name. Up during editing. Had also included various uh, different elements that were often used in YouTube poops. Like, uh, he included Ouija as the secondary character in that series. You know, I thought for a moment that because it was getting to be nighttime that the music uh, stopped playing, but no, nope. it was just because of the enemy music. I really like enemies that just give you easy cash. I guess this could be the reason why they don't give you the light arrows until near the end of the game. Because, you know, most of the other things have uh, been done already. Alright, so now we are fighting against Evil Batman. Yeah, I call him Evil Batman because, well, he's got a lot of bats around him. Yeah, I'm using the Great Fairy Story because I think that this will make the fight go by quicker. Maybe. Maybe. Although I'm starting to lose a lot of health. I tried his shield, but he wouldn't let me. How many hits does it take? Alright, there we go. He's beaten. Yeah, you're going down, Batman. And not the superhero, I mean you. Yeah, just a little Nostalgia Critic uh, reference, where he said, You're going down, Spider-Man, not the superhero, I mean you! Alright, so now we have the boss key. I will meet you guys over back at the entrance. Alright, so here we are in the second recording of the episode. Oh man. I ran out of magic because I used it all up fighting or trying to shoot at those pots. Okay, right. okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So I got I got magic again. Not full, but better than nothing. Surely it'll be enough for us to get through this. All right, and we do also need to flip the temple again so we can get the fairy inside of the chest. I just cannot believe that they make you have to uh, flip the temple so many times over in order to get the stray fairies. Although, 
the stray fairies are mostly optional, so I guess... I guess some people just, or I guess the game developers probably just did not expect that you would even bother with this. But it's something that I always do, especially considering that the item is randomized. Alright, so I think that before uh, we get to that, I'm first going to go and, uh, well, I'm going to reset the temple back to uh, normal, get with, get the, uh, the fairy in the chest, and maybe I'll actually go and uh, return her to her fountain. Alright, so now we have all of the stray fairies in the Stone Tower Temple. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, return them to their fairy fountain and get the prize that that, fairy, that great fairy has to give to us. And I'm also going to go to the milk bar to get a... Aw, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just started the second recording, and the battery already is saying that it is running low. Come on, seriously. We're like only a little over a few, uh, a little over two minutes, a little under three into the second recording, and you already are telling me that the battery is running low? Come on, camera. Why do this? I still want to be able to, uh, beat the boss in this episode. Alright, so all this great fairy gave to us with a, was another heart piece. Alright, so now head over to, uh, uh, Clock Town. I think that I may, uh, just, uh, pause the recording for a second and get the battery recharged. Alright, I am back. I did wait a couple minutes before, uh, you know, while the battery was, uh, rechar was recharging. I don't know how long it's gonna last out. I didn't, uh, have it, uh, recharge all the way, but I didn't want to, like, wait for too long. I I'm usually a lot better at this than... Then, come on, seriously, why will you not let me hit you? Alright, that was another hit. Alright, so... So come on, please, good prize, good prize, good prize. Yes, a good prize! Alright. I wonder what it's gonna, what it's gonna be. Alright. Alright, it's, it's, it's the Gibdo Mask. So at least now we can actually go into the, uh... The underground grottos, or in the bottom of the well section area. I had the feeling that that, that the prize was going to be a mask. That, that was not the first time that that's happened. It's happened a couple of times. Oh dang, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, move, 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 move. I'm pretty sure I got every chest that there is to get in here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Alright, so we only have two masks to go, and those would be the Keaton mask and the Fierce Deity mask. Why do I get the feeling the Fierce Deity mask is gonna be the last mask that I get? I still have no idea what music this is supposed to be. All right, well, anyway. Yeah, you, I got the Chichao Romani so I could uh, have the unlimited magic meter to, uh, to fight against Windmold. I personally think that the, uh, the 3DS battle is much better because, you know, you do some real things. Well, while in this game, you just, well, in this version of the game, all you have to do is just throw the giant size and attack Windmold at their heads and tails. Yeah, and it can take quite, it doesn't take any time at all. The 3DS version was more of a challenge. I'm glad that they changed it. I'm sure some people are happy with the change too. But you know, this is the original version of the game where where I had to deal with uh, just 
Making a few hits. Alright. I didn't get her. Yeah, I, no, actually him. I didn't get him. I referred to the blue one as a girl. Yeah, I, I do that because in the 3DS version, the blue one was weaker. And, and, and also, it's because Tyler referred to the red one as a he, and she doesn't identify the blue one by any specific gender. So I assume that the, the blue one is female and the red one is male. I don't know if that's actually correct, but... Although Nintendo hasn't really uh, confirmed, I don't think, as to what gender the twin molds are supposed to be. You know, I actually forgot that the music that played uh, after beating, tw well, any of the bosses was uh, the music that plays at the start of the Super Mario 64. All right, so what do we have? A silver rupee. Isn't that what this prize is? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, well. That was pretty good that we managed to beat every dungeon in the game. But I want to be able to get all of the masks in the game, so... In, at the start of the next episode, I am going to go and uh, get into the secret shrine. And do everything that I can in there. So, yeah, it is very fortunate that we managed to get uh, the Gibdo mask so we can also check the chests that are in the bottom of the well. Of course, I'm going to need to get uh, what is required for the bottom of the well in order to get through it. Normally I would not worry about all the chests that are in the bottom of the well because normally they are just rupees, but in this case I am going to have to uh, check them all out. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.